Are you tired of writing boilerplate code for your backend APIs? Don't you wish there's a software out there that would automatically generate backend code for you? Hi, my name is Prim, and I'm so honored to be introducing you to our application called API Builder. So you may wonder, what is an API Builder? To put it simply, it is the best code template generator, period. So why API Builder? You don't use any code in this application. It has a beautiful user experience and user interface. And it, the application is up to date and secure with the latest technology stack. So how easy is it to use an API Builder? It's actually very simple. You just have to register or log into your account, create new projects, add endpoints, and click on generate API and then boom, your code is generated and is ready for you to be downloaded. So who is an API builder is for? API builder is for anyone that doesn't want to spend time writing boring template API codes. So anyone can use this. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link below and start generating your APIs today. Now, I'm gonna hand this over to Marcus and he'll be showing you the demo of our application. Okay, thank you, Prin. Um, so I'll go ahead and demo. Uh, this is running on my local machine and I've already logged in as myself. As you can see, I have all of my projects here. If I wanted to, I could add a new one, but for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and uh, demo this pet store. Um, so I can click into this project and go to endpoints. Of course, a project represents a RESTful API. And here are all the endpoints or routes for this API. As you can see, you know, post request, put request, um, post request to slash pet to add a new pet to the store. As you can imagine, this is a pet store, so they want to track inventory um, and, and connect to their database so they can maybe advertise um, their pets that are available on their website. Um, here's the database. It's a Firestore NoSQL database document based. We have three pets in the pets collection. Um, so here's one of the ways that we can use this. So we have this pet slash pet ID route. Um, and with that, it just finds a pet by ID. So when we create this route, um, we have to supply this information. What is the request type? Um, what's the actual route that will be used? We have to give it an operation ID. Um, so once that's done, we can um, supply it information so that we're able to generate code. So since we just wanna be able to get one pet from the database, we say, um, reach out to Firestore and get a document. Um, another way to do this would be to query a collection, but of course a query can return multiple documents. Um, so, and we know we only want one, so we'll go ahead and go with um, get a document. And we want to use a dynamic path within the route. Um, and as you can see, we use this pet ID route parameter to do that. Um, so we have a couple other of these um, implemented. If you don't implement it, you just um, say none for functionality, and it will still create the route, but just with a stub functionality. So I'll go ahead and generate the API. This reaches out to the back end, generates the code, and uh, sends you back a zip that you can open up and run and even deploy. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, all right, I'll open up, open it in VS Code, close this server. And uh, uh, to run it, all you need to do is npm run start. Of course, you need to have node installed. Um, but this command will just uh, install the dependencies and open the server on port 8080. Um, uh, note here, we don't have anything on the home. So um, just to test it, we've implemented this hello route. OK, yes, it's working. Now, if I want to um, get a pet by ID, I need to go slash pet, and then the ID will go with number one. And oh, I have double slash. 
And there we go. We get the data from the database. Success true. And here's all that data. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you a couple more within Postman. Um, we can get a pet by ID. We'll get pet number three this time. Um, we get uh, the golden retriever named Kevin. Um, if I wanted to get all, um, this would be get the whole store's inventory, which would be querying the whole collection. Um, we get an array of three pets as we expect. And then finally, if I want to delete a pet, um, very similar to the get request, except we're doing a delete. And uh, there we go, successfully deleted pet number one. And as you can see, we only have pet two and three now. So that's how um, you can easily define your API within a graphical interface um, and generate the code with a click of a button. So, and of course this follows um, industry standard and this MVC architecture. So you can extend this to do whatever you want or it's ready to, to, to deploy right now. Um, it's up to you. So um, thank you for listening and have a good day.